everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so this is something i have not done in absolutely ages and um, i'm also going to apologize for the state of me i wish i was one of those youtubers who did their hair and makeup to do a video but i just i'm not because i'm a mum of two and i do not have time for that if i'm not doing my makeup that day then it's just not getting done even for a video so i'm having my hair done in like two hours um so i'm just not really wearing makeup today i'm not really doing my hair but i am coming at you with a zara haul and a primark haul so this is everything i've got for my holiday which is in two weeks it includes things for me things for my little boy and things for my little girl so i've got a zara box and a primark bag so i'm going to start with the zara stuff first if you're new to my channel as well please make sure you hit that subscribe button i do a lot of um just motherhood lifestyle kind of videos and honestly it's not that often that i do hauls but i just thought i've actually got quite a lot of things so i'm just going to show you what is new in, in zara and what is new in, in primark um i'll start with shorts so i just got two pairs of shorts I've got these grey ones and they just say Big Alita in the bottom. They are three to four years and they were only eight pounds, which for Zara I didn't think were that bad. And last summer he lived in shorts, so I'm hoping he does the same again this year. We are also currently potty training him and I just thought when we're on holiday he's obviously not going to be wearing nappies and I just need as many options as possible in case he has accidents and in case we can't really wash any clothes. I then got these ones which are my favourite so these are just like a cream and navy blue stripe Um, I absolutely love these again these are in three to four years so my little boy is two and a half but he's quite big for his age and he's quite chunky around the waist and the bum um, so he is currently wearing three to four years in Zara so they are the only two things I've got for my little boy from Zara for holiday I've also bought like a lot of other things as well like in the past I've got him a few pair like a pair of dungarees and like a few cute t-shirts but this was just what was in this box um, and then I'll show you my little girl so I've got three bodysuits um, you can see there they are the ones with like really thin little spaghetti straps and they are just ribbed i'm actually going to get them out of the packet just to see what the sizing is like because she's literally just gone six months two days ago and she's been wearing six to nine months for a good five six weeks and i just feel like she's growing rapidly but i do think yeah they'll be fine so that is what we've got i've got three of these I just think they're a perfect cute little vest and they'll just look cute with bloomers or shorts or something like that or even just on their own when it's really really warm next is the airport outfit which is obviously the most important one i did nearly buy my little boy this in matching with his name on but he's got a lot of jumpers already and I was just like, don't do it, you don't need to do it. It's just silly, it's just a waste of money and now I'm kind of regretting it because I really do like it. But I've got this lemon yellow jumper with her name on, which is Indy. So I've got that in baby pink and you can get this jumper up to six years. So I was going to get it for my little boy and get his name on the bottom in blue because you can only have five letters up here and he's got a six letter name. Um... But yeah, so this is the airport outfit. This is the jumper. And then I've got these gorgeous lemon leggings to match. How cute is that? I absolutely love my little girl in colour. She's just got so much personality. And I just feel like colour is just her thing. I do love her in beige as well. But I just love her in colour more. And then I also just picked up some beige leggings for her as well. Because I love Zara leggings on babies. I just think they fit so nice. And they wash really well as well so these are basically just the same one's lemon and one is beige so that is the kids done from zara as i say i've not got that much i do tend to get a lot of stuff off vintage as well for the kids mainly my little girl because they grow so fast whereas i don't mind spending a bit more money on my little boy because it should last a year or so 
Um, but for me, I have got, I've not even tried these on, so I don't even know what they'll fit like. But I've got these cycling shorts, and they are in like a greeny, tealy colour. But I was in desperate need of some new cycling shorts because all of mine are from when I was pregnant last summer and they're really they're either too big because I ordered the size big and or they're either just really stretched from where my bump was because I carry really big when I'm pregnant. Um but yeah, I've got these cycling shorts. They just looked really good quality and looked like they'd suck me in a bit. And then I got the matching sort of crop top sports bra. I'm not overly confident with my postpartum body just yet, but I just thought if these come up quite high, there should only be a little gap in the middle. And I just thought they looked nice with like a shirt, like a really oversized shirt, kind of over the top. Um, so it was more for that really. And I'm still planning on losing some weight anyway. But yeah, that is the colour of the two piece. Um, it's really, really, really nice material. They had it in like a candy pink colour. Which I was very tempted to get, but I just thought I'll be a little bit more subtle and go for this foresty greeny teal colour. Next, I've got these shorts, which I do think might be a bit big. So they're a medium and they're like black drawstring shorts. I really wanted them in the khaki colour, but by the time I checked out, they'd actually sold out. So these were 25 99 but I just thought there was a proper capsule summer wardrobe type item so they're just like i don't think i don't know if you can see they're just like a black short they're a really nice thick material well not thick but they're not like really thin um and they've got like this drawstring so i thought they'd just look nice with a vest a t-shirt with sandals with heels and because the black i just was like I feel like they're a bit of a capsule item for the summer. A lot of my summer stuff I keep every year. I've had a lot of my summer stuff for a long time. And I just thought these would be a part of that as well. Um, I've then got this gorgeous striped vest. So mainly in my head this was like an outfit. So this top and these shorts. And also I thought this would look lovely with jeans. Like mum jeans. Thought it would look lovely with denim shorts or um yeah literally just tucking it in because i'm i am getting more confident in my postpartum body and to be honest i don't know what to wear this summer i just feel like when you've been a mum it's really hard to get your style back because when you're pregnant even though you do try hard to be fashionable i do feel like you really do lose like what you kind of wear because you can't wear what you'd wear when you weren't pregnant and then you just kind of lose that so i was obviously pregnant all of 2020 then i had 2021 off and then i was pregnant all of 2022 so i've only really had a year between pregnancies where i've like tried to find my own style again sorry i keep playing with my hair and then i've lost it because i've got pregnant again um so yeah i absolutely love this top again capsule wardrobe i think i'll have it for a very long time i thought it would go with a lot of things something that will always be in fashion but i got that in a medium and the shorts were medium again i've not tried them on and i'm really sorry i'm not doing a try on haul because like i say i'm not overly confident with the postpartum bod lastly from zara i have got this play suit so it's like a blue pinstripe play suit this is also a medium I think I could have got away with this in a small and to be honest I think I could have got away with the shorts in a small but I just didn't want things to arrive and then them be like really really tight. I've not tried it on but I just feel like it might actually be a little bit baggy around the waist. Um, what I'll do actually is I'll try these things on before I edit and upload this video and I'll just pop a photo at the side of what I've tried on um, in the mirror. I'll do like a few mirror pics with with it all so you can see what it's like on because I really need to decide whether I'm taking these back or not because Zara only give you 15 or 30 days now to do returns and you can't even change sizes. You can't even exchange for a different size. Like literally, that is it. If you miss your 30 days, you are keeping that item. Sorry, I thought someone was knocking at my door. But yeah, this was the last thing I got from Zara. So it's just a gorgeous like linen play suit um nice buttons up nice big pocket just nice and floaty thought it looked really lovely with like birkenstocks or even like woven sandals that type of thing 
Right, let's move on to Primark. So I've got this big bag. I went to Primark in Meadowhall yesterday. If you're not familiar, Meadowhall is a big shopping centre in the north. It's in like Sheffield area. And I spent about £70. I've got a mix of things. And I'm just going to go straight in. So firstly, I got the Hunza Dupe swimsuit. And I am a bit gutted because this is far too small for me. I tried it on last night because we're going on a spa weekend this weekend. And I thought, oh, I'll wear it this weekend. Um, let me tell you, I'm not wearing it. So I did actually get an extra small. Don't ask me why because I've literally just had two babies in two and a half years. Um, so... But I just thought it looked really long and I'm five foot two. So that is why. But let me tell you, it's not. It's really squashed me. So I'm going to have to take it back. It was £12 as well, so I'm not just letting it slide. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to take it back and try and swap for another. We're going two weeks and I don't know when I'm going to get to another Primark at all. Um, might have to try and go next Monday or Tuesday to the Huddersfield one. But we'll see. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It's thick it feels stretchy but it's not as stretchy as what i thought and it just i feel like if i had the right size it would really suck me in but yeah it's a beautiful swimsuit and it is 12 pounds they also do it in orange and like this really like gorgeous lobster red color next i got these stunning stone colored denim shorts so i love denim shorts that go really wide at the leg and that is because my figure or my what's the word i'm looking for my body shape i've got quite like thick thighs muscly thighs and if i wear denim shorts or shorts that are just too tight around the leg my legs just look massive especially because i'm short but because these are smaller at the waist and wider at the leg i feel like they will i've not tried them on by the way i feel like they will just sort of make my legs look nice um i thought they were a stunning color again i think they'd even look nice with the zara t-shirt and just like a pair of birkenstocks or a pair of woven sandals again i love the word again don't i a filler item i do think that these will be in my summer wardrobe for a long time they're just a really plain beige color and they've got a gorgeous frilled edge and also a denim short just never really goes out of fashion does it um see so yeah, i'm really happy with that purchase these were 13 pounds and i did get them in a 10 which i think they should fit me definitely i can't see why they wouldn't fit me but you will see a picture on the screen from when i've edited this video um next up for myself so i really wanted some new pajamas because i'm currently i've only got like two pairs that i rotate and i've got a bit of sick i've got a baby who's sick a lot so sometimes they need washing more often than usual and i thought it's starting to get into the summer now it's starting to get a little bit warmer so i really wanted some nice short pajamas and i love a silk pajama and i found these and honestly i'm obsessed i absolutely love them i feel like they're a bit chelsea piers vibes i feel like they're a bit bow avenue vibes so they were 14 pounds which obviously is quite expensive for primark pajamas but it's because they're the silky ones so they've got a nice drawstring waist and then just this really nice top but i just love having my pajamas on on an evening when i've had a shower and i've got ready for bed and i can put my pajamas on i also love pajamas on a morning when we're not in a rush to get out the door and like a friday for example is my day at home with the kids and if we don't have major plans i love just having my pajamas on and just chilling at home and like not rushing to get dressed because i used to so before i had kids i used to wear my dressing gown and I feel like a dressing gown just makes me feel like a slob now. So I only really wear a dressing gown on an evening or like if I'm getting ready for something. Um, but yeah, I thought these were absolutely stunning. So I've got an extra small because I do find that Primark pyjamas come up really big. Um, like the waist on them look huge. And I just didn't want them to be like really, really baggy. So I've gone for the extra small, which is a 6 to an 8. 
again i'm hoping they fit i don't i still don't know if they're gonna fit me or not but let's hope that they do uh lastly for me i just got some new bras so i've ordered some new underwear from um marks and spencers because since having my little girl a lot of information here i am suffering quite badly with thrush <laughs> not what you expect on a clothing haul but i am it's the honest truth and i have ordered a lot of cotton underwear because a lot of my underwear is from primark it's just from random places from asda it probably needs chucking out i need a massive um underwear throw away so i've ordered loads of black underwear from marks and spencers so i've just gone and bought myself some new black bras from primark to match and this one was five pounds it's just like a wireless t-shirt plunge bra i've gone for all of them in a 34b so i just need an update in bras because my boobs have changed massively since having children they are just lifeless and just damn right not for me really um they've shrunk they're a bit saggy um so i just need a bra update so this is a t-shirt one which is like a non it's like a plunge t-shirt bra it looks like it'd fit really really nice and then this is a wired t-shirt bra again this is in a 34b and it's a gorgeous bra this is this was eight pounds this one so it's just like a nice lacy pattern on it and it's quite plunged because obviously as i said my boobs are lifeless now i need that plunge in my life and um, it's got a really nice back to it as well as you can see so this one is more of a t-shirt bra whereas this one i feel like obviously i would wear it under a t-shirt but i wouldn't want a really tight t-shirt under there so this one was eight pounds and this one was five pounds and then i just got one of the standard little crop tops um i like to wear these to bed because i cannot be naked in bed anymore it's just not for me um so these are like three pound fifty they do them in absolutely loads of colors they're just like a really thin like crop top type style sports bra right next we'll move on to what i got for my little boy i didn't get him much at all i just got him a few bits for our holiday so i got this blue polo top plain blue polo top it was three pounds and it was in three to four years they had loads of colors in this they had a sky blue they had navy blue they had black they had gray they had white but i just thought the navy blue would look nice especially with like the striped shorts from zara and i also thought about food wise on holiday we eat a lot of spaghetti bolognese and things like that and just thought it won't stain as well will it i then got this first um this came in a two pack so there was this white one with a shark on and then just this plain grey one. Three to four years for both of them and I think they were three pound for the two. The tag's fallen off um, but they were very cheap so I just thought on oh, no, it's there look. Three pounds for two vests you literally cannot go wrong with that. I just thought again great to shove on with a pair of shorts or even just have his underpants on. You know if we're like around just in the villa and stuff. And then I also got this vest, which was £3.50. And it's just got like a little lollipop sort of popsicle logo. That is also in three to four years. Then for my little girl, I got some sleeveless bodysuits. I don't even know how much they were actually. I did get them in nine to 12 months because I'm just worried that they'll just be too um, small that's the wrong one wrong receipt two pounds 80 oh my goodness me that is all they were two pounds 80 wow that is not very expensive is it so they're just the sleeveless plain ones obviously i've got the ones from zara but they're more pretty ones that i want on show whereas these will just be for like under baby grows and stuff and um, but I, to be fair i'm actually quite glad i went from nine to twelve i do feel like primark's quite small fitting I think they'll fit her quite well so yeah they're more for under like baby grows and clothes whereas the ones from zara are for more to have on display with like bloomers or little shorts 
Um, I then got her just this little outfit. She's starting nursery in about six weeks. So I just bought like this random tracksuit, um, Minnie Mouse tracksuit. So I've just got the joggers and the jumper. Although I feel like it might be too small for by the time she starts. So they were five pounds each. The bottoms were a fiver and the top was a fiver. Um, to be fair, I didn't realise it was that expensive for nursery. I probably wouldn't have bought it. I might not even give it a for nursery. I might just let her wear it whenever. And then I got my husband a t-shirt. So I just saw this t-shirt. It's just a plain white rib tea if you can see it's like a nice ribbed material and i just thought you know what i think that would look really nice on holiday with a pair of shorts so i bought him this he doesn't even know it yet and it was seven pounds and then i just bought two things for the airplane so primark have a lot of toys in at the minute um i got this aqua play mat six pounds it's like the aqua doodle one you fill water into the little pen and then they can just draw what they want on the aquamat it's not that big so it will fold up and go into his little rucksack that we're taking on the plane but i just tried to think of like a lot of mess free um activities for the airplane and for the villa slash apartment so that we're not making loads of mess there's your little water pen so i will just literally fold this up nice and small and put it in his rucksack and lastly, I got this cute little Play-Doh set. So it comes in a little tub. It's got little shapes and cutters. And then it's got all the Play-Doh at the bottom, the dough. Um, I thought this would be great for the plane. It was £3 as well. And I thought even if we don't take this, this little container will be good for something else. Whether it's crayons or cars like he loves his cars so i could put all his little hot wheels in here to take abroad um i'm just gonna see i'm gonna open one of the doors and just see how messy it is and whether it's gonna be appropriate for an airplane or not but i thought for three pounds that that wasn't bad at all so they have absolutely loads of stuff like this in at the minute primer there was probably a lot more things i could have bought for the airplane but one i didn't want to spend a fortune and two my little girl was actually crying um, so I didn't want to be like spending loads of time looking at toys um, but yeah that is my Primark haul done I do actually have these uh, Hermes dupe sandals but they're for my friend but I'll show you them anyway so they're just the brown leather sandals you've probably seen them all over TikTok or Instagram I think they were seven pounds they are the brown Hermes dupe sandals but thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little mini holiday haul. As I say, everything that I bought, apart from the bras, are for the holiday. Obviously, I'll be taking the bras on holiday, but let's be honest, not really like holiday shopping for bras. Um, so, yeah, that's super exciting. We go in two weeks' time. So hopefully, this vlog will be live a week before we fly. Uh, I also did buy my little girl this summer... Um, swimming pool what you call it uv ray wet hat but it was from boots it's a mother care one and it was seven pounds so primark had loads of these for boys but none for girls which was a little bit annoying but i bought this just in case i don't find one before we go um it was the first one i saw and i just thought i really need to get a one so i'm just gonna buy this um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I am just going to try a few bits on now and I'll make sure I get the pictures. But thank you so much for watching. Also, these shorts would look really nice with this Adenola t-shirt. Just literally tucked into the t-shirt and the t-shirt like come over a bit with like my Birkenstocks or even some trainers like some Converse or something. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll be having a holiday vlog coming soon and also a pack with me or what I'm taking for my baby on holiday. Don't really think it matters about a toddler anymore because they're quite easy. It's just packing the bags for the plane. But I will do that actually. I'll pack the bag for the plane with you guys. And then I'll pack for my daughter. I'm going to have to start packing next week. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I'll say it again. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys real soon.